Visualizing 65 trillion in hidden dollar debt. Welcome to an Andika Bulletin special video presentation for Tuesday, 10 January 2023. Now, based on an analysis from the Bank of International Settlements or the BIS, this infographic chart that you can see just highlights the rise in hidden dollar debt across non-financial institutions and examines the wider implications of this growth. The scale of the hidden dollar debt around the world, as you can see, is huge. No less than 65 trillion in unrecorded dollar debt circulates across the financial system of non-US banks and shadow banks. To put this in perspective, global GDP sits at 104 trillion. So we're talking nearly two thirds of what the global GDP is in all this dollar hidden dollar debt. This dollar debt is in the form of foreign exchange swaps, which have exploded over the last de uh, decade due to years of monetary policy easing and ultra low interest rates as investors search for high yields. Today, unrecorded debt from these foreign exchange swaps is worth more than double the dollar debt officially recorded on the balance sheets across these institutions. Since 2008, the value of this hidden unrecorded debt has nearly doubled. In 2008, non-US bank unrecorded debt stood at just under $22 trillion and shadow bank unrecorded debt at 12.4. As of the 30th of June, 2022, non-US uh, bank unrecorded debt stood at $39.4 trillion, while non-US shadow bank unrecorded debt stood at $26 trillion. So how does it work? Well, one party borrows a currency while lending another. These must be exchanged back at a future date in what's called a swap contract. These contracts are considered a form of debt. Now, often this debt is not recorded on balance sheets due to bank accounting rules. So what are the wider implications of this? Well, the risk growing from dollar debt and these swap lines arises when a non-US bank or a shadow bank may not be able to hold up their end of the agreement. In fact, on a daily basis, there is an estimated $2.2 trillion in forex swaps exposed to settlement risk. Given its vast scale, this dollar debt could have great systematic spillover effects. If participants fail to pay, it could undermine the financial market stability. Because demand for US dollars is increasing during market uncertainty, a worsening economic climate could potentially expose the Forex market to even more vulnerabilities. And if we look at this chart here, we can see how the US dollar is continuing to slide. It's now at its lowest level since June 2022 and a death cross is looming. Now, a death cross is when the 50-day average crosses uh, from above to below the 200-day moving average. So that's something also to uh, keep a firm eye on as well. So the two big risks that can come from this is exchange rate volatility. So if we start to see some sharp swings in the US dollar, that can spur a liquidity crunch. And also we're seeing uh, US interest rate volatility. Any sudden rate fluctuations can mean higher costs uh, for the particular trades. And what are we currently in? We're in a hawkish environment. We've got a US Fed pushing up interest rates. We have up until late seen a very, very strong US dollar, but it's now starting to come back. And this could provide uh, issues with liquidity. But uh, the problem is this time around, uh, central banks don't want to have to come in and pump in liquidity if there's something that breaks in the system. Uh, if the system breaks, it will be a cascading event. So just keep in mind, we have this currently right now happening. We have this hidden uh, non-US you know, debt of, of, of a magnitude measured in trillions and trillions of dollars. So keep that in mind. It's like being out in the ocean and you're only familiar with the first one metre that you're swimming in. Meanwhile, there's three kilometres plus of water below you. We just don't know what's happening. And uh, it's important when information presents itself, you, you can uh, make better strategic decisions. Anyway, I thought it was worth sharing with everybody. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please smash that like button. I've also put in the description below uh, a copy of the Visual Capitalist article for which I um, managed to get these screenshots from. Uh, until next time, take it easy.